Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old is this thing? Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, we cut this. Good evening, we here, it looks like it's getting dark here now, but I just came to look for Devon, Mr. Richards, and um, Mr. Richards, this is your and farm, I'm finally Philip here. And, and uh, Philip Manbarman. Philip Manbarman, if I pronounce it right. <laughs> yes. So, you are the manager of the farm here? No, the goat. Oh, you take care of the goats yeah. then here? Okay. And this is um, Devon. Farm. So this is the first time I'm coming here and seeing his farm. As you know, I come here to do some small ruminants business. I'm the president of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. And Mr. Richards is the... I'm the treasurer of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. of Jamaica. And as you know, Trevor is my boss. So no, I don't. I wouldn't put it like that. I wouldn't put it like that. But he's the man, the treasurer. in control the money. All the membership stuff that is going on. I know you guys have been talking to Mr. Richards from time to time. He's signing you up as members and so forth. Now you're putting a face to it. This is Mr. Richards. Now, I come here to have a look at his farm today. But I also wanted to have a discussion with Mr. Richards about some things. Because he was asking me some, some questions. As you know, the small ruminants project that we are doing now, we have... The government is going to be importing some animals so so far we are going to be importing you know sanis alpine kiko, kiko boar nubian um also i think i leave out one of the breeds the, the savannah, savannah yeah. yeah they are looking into savannah so quite a number of breeds will be imported the the, the goal is that 50 million dollars that they spoke about in the program the government is going to be spending 50 million jamaican and they hope to carry in 200 live animals this is an ongoing process and they have started to look for animals and starting to doing all those kind of things but mr richards are you going to bring in animals you want to be a part of this program most certainly i mean mr president i'm most particularly interested in the kiko breed Okay. And the Kiko breed and what makes it more well, when you look at the curry goat in Jamaica, and you know Jamaican love curry goat, Mr. President. And we I think the Kiko give as the president would say best conversion of meat to bone ratio. And, and forages. They make very forages. good use of forages. They yes. can live on, you know, very poor forage. Yes, so they are tough goat. Right. And you know, I am looking to bring in uh, quite a number of the Kiko breed. However, what makes me excited about this project is that farmers like you, our dear farmers, you can also sign up to bring in uh, any particular breed of goat that is mentioned within the five species of animal that is coming in. So farmers, anybody in Jamaica can be a part of this program. So Mr. President, Please explain to me, how do you sign up to be a part of this program? Alright, so farmers, what you have to do, anybody who wants animals, whether Kiko, Boar, Nubian, whichever, even if it is animals that are not mentioned in this, in this program, you have to let us know, the small ruminants, members are on the executive, like Mr. Richards, myself, Mr. Dunn, you know, our numbers are out there. Our herd development officer, Mr. Our Sears. Mr. Herd, our herd development officer, Mr. Sears. All those people are there. You just give in the names. You can call any of us. We want your name, the type of animal that you want, and, you know, any other information. And then what will happen is that you have to pay for your animals, and the animals can come along with the animals that the government is bringing. That's generally how it's going to be working. And, um, you know, anybody can, enter. and it's not just goat, it's sheep. Sheep too, yes. It's both goat and sheep. So one of the things is very important is for farmers, anybody who is interested and you have your money, you can buy your animals and ship it with the government's animals. And I've, I'm even hearing, I've talked that there might be, you know, the shipping costs the government might help with the yes, shipping, shipping costs. costs. Yes. Right. So it's just for the cost of the animal. Mr. They have President. to pay for the cost of the animals. They have to pay for, you know, like quarantine, quarantine. and vaccination and health certificate. 
it's quite a, a, ta a tedious process, but you can be a part. Now, what happened is that the government is looking at, you know, different farms all over the United States. And when you farmers, you give us these names, we will keep updating you as to what is happening as we go along. So question, Mr. President. Do you have an idea about the cost to... Well, a boar goat will cost you anywhere from 1,200 US to maybe three, 4,000 US. It can cost you 10,000 or 50,000 US too. But that's the general price. I would say Nubians will go for anywhere between like 500 maybe to 1,200 US. And most of the other milking breeds like that. You will see prices like that. Kiko, I'm thinking to, I've never really, but I think in the Kiko maybe like 500 to maybe 1,200 US. I, I'm not really sure of the, the, the pricing, but this is what I'm generally seeing. But remember though, if you buy a goat for $1,000 for US, transportation maybe 200 US, vaccination and, and all of that health thing, maybe another 100 to 200 US, it's quite an expensive process to get all the paperwork and all the different quarantine. You have to build a special wooden crate to transport the animals in. You have to, you know, it's quite a process. And you know it's going to be air freighted to Jamaica. And when the animals reach here to Jamaica, it is also going, going to be quarantined again. I think it's at probably a two weeks quarantine that's going to happen in Jamaica. So, you know. So it, how would animal reach to the farmers? Would it, with the Small Ruminant Association truck it to them? Or they would have to make special arrangements? All those arrangements with, 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 can, be, can be made. Your animals will be at the facility. That facility is actually at the airport. They have a quarantine facility out at the airport. And also, I can tell you, you would have to probably go and look for the animals and help with feeding because you have to provide feeding and you know things like that at the facility in Jamaica. Okay. So it's, all of that, Mr. President, can done through the Small Room Land Association. Yes, we are here, and you know we can help in whatever way we can, and we will um, assist and guide and. You know, give our we have the expertise all around us. If I don't know, there's always somebody else in that knows. Association. Right, in the association. So uh, uh, our members, Mr. President, keep asking me on an ongoing basis. I mean how what benefit mostly they get from the association when they sign up. Well, one of the things, farmers, this, you have to understand that we are here lobbying for you, the farmers, all day long. We are sitting at the table with government. We are sitting at the table with all the institutions that are dealing with goats, sheep, rabbits, and so forth. Now, a program like this, you know that is because of our efforts over the years that programs like this are happening right here now. And go ahead. So it pays for all the good it, farmers in Jamaica to be a part of this. It pays market. for you to be a part. It is not about if you're going to get something free, but it's about us lobbying together, being a strong body that we can lobby the government, that the, the government can look and, 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 and if, even the NGOs and you know people abroad and whatever will look at this body and say this is a serious body that is very effective and is out there trying to make the best for the farmers. Question, Mr. President. That, you know, the farm manager here have, or you know, he's in charge of the boat. Most of his questions tend to be when he tried to reach the small homeland association. He tend to ask the question, where is the physical location? He cannot reach to us. All right. So as you know. The association don't have any money. We don't have a revenue stream. So we can't go and pay a secretary. And we are all volunteering to do everything that we're doing. Everything that we do is out of our pockets and we volunteer most things. So right now we are working virtual. We got an office facility at Bodles Research Station, but we can't buy furniture and put a personnel in there and all of that. We don't have all of that. But the Jamaica Dairy Development Board is going to turn the whole thing into a livestock unit. It's not going to be segmented as cattle and goat and sheep and all of that. It's going to be a livestock board. I think the launch of that is going to be very shortly. I think by the end of November, they're going to launch that program. So when you call into the office at Bordels, you're going to have that livestock office there that, will, that we 
the small ruminants association and all the other associations in livestock will be represented there so that is coming that's something we have worked for a long time and it is very close i know it's time happening. is against us mr president but my final question to you is when will this project start when will when should i pay my money and when do i expect pay which money you mean for, to be a member of the association no, for the importation of the animal it is i don't we don't know yet they are looking for animals right now abroad they are looking for animals abroad and um i think they said they have gotten an invoice and they are looking into it because the truth is 50 million dollars can buy 200 goat yes with everything so private sector has to you know get involved and buy some of these goats because i don't think that the government can, 50 million can buy all of what we want so private sector has to be involved and buy up some of these goats and the opportunity is here so we have to we have to make use of this because new genetics is going to put money in your pocket you know it is just go, it is just that you're going to be ahead of the game with the new genetics i can see your goats those are your goats down there yes, yes. look like they are ready to come in now yes right so this is mr richard's goat it's dark it's getting dark here now and you know so can you imagine on the milking line you know for example we want to bring in you know the sani and the milking side and the nubian you know the american nubian is more a milking line than anything so you know this is going to be a grim changer especially like how oh, you know i'm encouraging to go into dairy goats the milk the milk yes and all the byproducts and you know everything else that you can get from dairy so this is also something that is going to benefit Jamaica in a very big way. So, Mr. Richards, thanks for inviting me to your farm. It is getting dark, we didn't get to see everything here, but as you know, we are way in the bushes here, <laughs> and we need to go home now with these children. So, so thank you, Mr. President, for, for stopping by, and uh, you are welcome anytime. And you know, it was such a pleasure to come here, and you know i want you to keep subscribing to my channel we're always bringing good content to you and we want you to know that i'm here working hard with my team around me to bring educational stuff and to make the farmers in jamaica better big up keep subscribing thank you all right This year now, within 10 years, I want to learn. Learn, 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 learn.
Thank you. 